Hi everyone, Tori here with a Project Life Process video called Travel Fun. And I am doing a one page spread with some photos from my trip out west with my mom. We traveled from Calgary to Vancouver to Edmonton and then back down to Calgary. So these are just some photos that we took along the way. There's um, a photo collage of some of the beautiful mountains that we saw, a photo of her and I with a stuffed um, moose mountie, and um, a photo out the window of one of the restaurants we visited, and just a photo of my mom reading a menu. And I am using the Studio Calico Lisi um, April Project Life Kit, as well as a bunch of stuff from my stash because I'm almost out of cards from the kit, and I just wanted to use up my stash a little bit more. Um, so you'll see me grab some things from my stash, um, but I'll first tell you what came from the kit and then what is from my stash. So the cards I've put out so far are from um, the kit, so that one, it looks sort of like a pinkish, yellowish egg kind of thing. That's from the kit. Um, the striped one is from the kit, as well as the pattern paper I put in the bottom left-hand corner, the blue one there, and the um, grid paper I put in the top um, right-hand paper corner um, came from the paper pad. These cards were just some cards that I had picked out that I thought I might want to use in this layout or in the next couple layouts about our travels. So um, I'll let you know where things come from if I can remember, um, but if I can't, I'm sorry. And um, But if you really want to know, just let me know and I can type it in the comments for you. So that um, photo graphic um, of mount of trees is from a previous Studio Calico kit, as well as that pink floral one that's in the bottom right hand corner that came from last month's Studio Calico kit. I grabbed a camera overlay, um, which I can't remember where that came from, as well as this like watercolor papered heart overlay and a yellow card to go underneath it, and I know the yellow card came in a Studio Calico kit a couple months ago. I also grabbed this little girl who's reading a book, which I thought was sort of cute because my mom is sort of reading the menu, and I don't really have kids, so I won't really use that on anything, but I love that, so I'm going to stick that in that bottom corner with my mom as well. And then I used a one-inch circle punch to punch out that yellow card it had hello sunshine and I want to put that on that top photo grid of my mom and I and then I used another journaling card which had this like banner on it and the banner said moments and that's what I cut out and put in the bottom left hand corner now I knew that I wanted to keep some cards a little more simple so that top card with the trees and the photo camera overlay um, I just stuck those right in because I knew I wanted to keep those simple. As well as that heart one, I knew I'm just going to leave it as is. Now, that striped card that came in the kit had a lot of greens in it, and I'm not a super green person, and I didn't want to use a lot of green on this layout, so I just trimmed the photo and covered up the colors of the stripes that I didn't like. And then the photo of my mom with the Mountie Moose, which is like really funny thing to say. Um, I'm just going to stick right in the pocket like that. I'm not going to mount it on a card. I'm using my, I think this is called a We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper um, to round all my corners because I love rounded corners. Um, and while I'm just doing this, while I'm just embellishing the cards here. I just have a question to ask and I'd really like some feedback so if you could leave me a comment below and just give me some feedback that would be really great. I'm trying to decide um, how to do my project life process videos. I want to know whether you would prefer seeing one page and a shorter video or whether you'd like to see two pages and a longer video. So I could do two pages 
in 20 minutes or I could do one page in like under 10 minutes or about 10 minutes. So would you rather see more shorter videos or would you rather see less videos but longer? So if you can just leave me a comment that would be really helpful um, as I try to figure out how, how to do that. Um, the next couple ones I'm going to make are just going to be shorter. I'm going to try to keep them to about 10 minutes. So this one's 11 and <laughs> just over 11, but I'm going to try to keep them to about 10 minutes. So back to the layout here. Um, normally my project life process videos or not the videos, but the pages are very embellished because that's one thing I love doing. I love embellishing, but I also typically try to stick to like one or two colors per spread. But these photos, I don't know. I didn't feel like one color necessarily just fit. There was a lot of blue in the in the photo collage at the top with all the the sky and the mountains. But then there was also like red in these photos of my mom and I. And then I had one black and white photo. So I was like, you know, I think I'm just going to do a spread where it's not just one or two colors where it's a little more colorful than that. And I like the way that it turned out. I feel like it's balanced because I've got blue in the bottom corner and blue in the top corner. And I've got some pinks and reds and a little touch of green and some yellow. But I don't know. It's maybe a little more busy in terms of color than I normally do. But I think it still works out. So what am I doing? So on that top card, I had a card that said, with you is the best place to be. And in that photo collage, there's one photo of my mom with the mountains behind her. So I thought that that was a cute saying for that card. Um, and then I had punched out that hello sunshine. And what I decided to do was make it into like a faux flare which is a trick that I had learned from Adele um, whose YouTube channel is called Inky Quill. She made flare with these like epoxy stickers and like a hole punch. So I'll link up her video for you below. I also know that Carissa um, from Sprinkled with Glitter just recently made Flo flare as well. And I love this trick. It's like such a fun trick. So I'm just punching things out with the one inch punch and then sticking an epoxy sticker on top and then gluing it down. And it looks like I have flare, which is like so cute. And then you can get the flare like exactly how you want it. So I am stamping the date with my Dear Lizzie date stamp. And I've just used these pink peach labels stickers, or they're not stickers, they're labels that came in the Lizzie kit um, this month. And I just, cut it in half and use it two places on the layout. I also grabbed this really pretty black and white floral um, washi tape and just stuck a strip of that. As well as I've been trying to use up some of the branding strips that I had this month. So I put a piece of branding strip um, on the bottom two photos. There's the blue one on the left hand side and the red and white one on the right hand side. And I like that it just sort of like is a nice line between the photo and the back paper. I also grabbed some of these sentiment strips, which I'm really loving and I'm trying to use. I've used up most of the words that I want to use up now. Um, but, I mean, there's still some. On the photo of my mom, um, I put everyday and interesting. And then on the bottom photo with looking out the window of the restaurant, I put work question mark because this was a work trip, but I mean, we had so much fun. It was, it didn't feel like work. Then I used those vellum, I think they're called vellum, um, letter stickers to put travel fun on that one card. And now I grabbed a frame to stick around the picture of my mom at the top because I felt like it sort of brought more attention to her since with her is the best place to be. This was sort of a fun layout. I mean, I didn't really have a plan. I just sort of was embellishing however made me happy and just using stuff for my stash as well as what was in the kit. And I, I mean, it's not my favorite page, but I think it was just a fun page to work on and to make. Um, the subscribers this month got these tags in our kit and um, 
they're not really my style, but I thought maybe I could use some of them to make some more of those faux flares. So I took two designs. I took a blue heart as well as one that says OK. And I cut those out and then I glued them to a white circle. Then I grabbed an epoxy sticker and stuck it on top and then I used my hot glue gun to stick those down. So it looks like I have this really cute flare on the page. And the really nice thing about these like faux flare pieces is they're a lot flatter than actual flare because they don't have the back on them and the epoxy sticker that you stick on top is a little thinner. So it actually doesn't take up a lot of bulk. So if you like the idea of flare but you don't like bulk on your pages, it's like perfect for that. And I don't really mind bulk on my Project Life pages, but I know a lot of people do, so um, it's a great middle ground for that. And then I thought, you know, it needs some sparkle, so I grabbed those sparkly hearts that came in the kit this month and added those to a couple of cards and one in the middle of the camera overlay. Then I grabbed some enamel dots and stuck those down too. And then it's just time to add my journaling. And I basically just journaled about like how the scenery here is so stunning and I'm so thankful I get to see this. And um, how being with my mom was just really great and how we just had to take a picture with a Mountie, even if it was a moose. And uh, if you don't know what a Mountie is, it's like Canadian cop, basically. But we don't have them all across Canada. Well, I guess there are Mounties everywhere, but in the Western provinces mostly. Anyways, just showing you the cards and that's it. I'm done. Hope you have a lovely day. Bye.